Yes. Of course, I, I, well, I studied physics when I was young. So there was some knowledge in there about logic networks. Mm -hmm. And so it just came on my way. It, it turned out to be very useful so as well. Would, there's a binary world. You could make step counters. But I'm also back to the analogy, uh, the, the analog world. Because, uh, for instance, you can build a, a digital uh, step counter. So that you know how far the animal has walked. When it left Scheveningen, you know when it arrives in Kijkduin. Uh, that un uh, it's very complicated and it's always leakage. So I, I use a step counter which is analog, so it's just a pump connected to one of the legs. Yeah. It pumps air into a bottle, so <coughs> the pressure oh, goes up right. as soon right. as it exceeds a certain uh, pressure. It knows it has arrived with a accuracy about 200 meters. But you don't need more accuracy than that. They were born. 1500 of these legs in the computer and they uh, they were all different they had random lengths of tubes so you get also 1500 curves different curves the pencil writes 1500 different curves and none of these curves is this curve but some of these curves are sort of look-alikes they are slightly the same and they are selected by the computer and those are also the legs which get the permission to stay alive. The other ones die. And the selection also gets the permission to multiply. And that means that the tubes are copied and reassembled to 1500 new combinations. So that's the next generation. But this process of reproduction and selection went on for months, day and night. And in the end, uh, there came out 13 numbers which I could use to make the lengths of the tubes. And that worked in reality, that the, uh, the, the tubes, uh, that the animals stayed indeed on the same level. Yeah, of course, the, usually things work only in 50% of the cases. So, that, you take the, the water fever, it all works. But uh, it's, if, if it works only a 50%, it's not enough for these animals to survive. That's why you just try to improve them by uh, adding some better thing that it doesn't leak anymore, or uh, that the position is better on the beast, and uh, that you can set also save uh, weight on the beach, uh, on, the, on the beast to, uh, to let it uh, walk better, for instance. All those kind of small improvements, very small steps in fact, but you want to increase that percentage that things are going to work. It runs quite well. I now have to more to concentrate on how they survive the storms and how they uh, can uh, feel the winds when, when they decide to walk or not. And that, all, that those kind of things I still have to work on. But the water bottle is, is the wind stomach of the beast. So, uh, the, on the top you see these wings, they move in the wind and they pump air into the bottles. Perhaps you could say that there's energy in there which they can use in case that the wind falls away. So they still have energy when the, the water would come up and there's no wind, they still could run away from the water. So they're also armed against the wind silences.